Yo, what is going on guys? It is Rambo here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys an amazing solo money glitch working on patches 1.26, 1.24, and PC, so you've done guessed it, all fucking consoles. And of course, this glitch is gonna allow for us to duplicate and sell vehicles within a matter of minutes, but if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, then please be sure to drop a comment with the phrase hashtag GTA 5 money, and also, be sure to drop a like on the video. And hey, maybe if you do like the video, then you'll find me beating off in your pool later on. But with that said, let's jump into today's solo money glitch. Alrighty guys, so to begin you're going to be heading down to your garage and making sure you guys have a vehicle that you want to duplicate. Now I do highly recommend using the Panto or the Elegy as these vehicles are going to sell for a shit ton and they also have a ton of upgrades you guys can apply to them. But also in the same garage that you guys have your vehicle you want to duplicate, you're also going to make sure you have at least one free space in there. So if you don't got one, be sure to sell a shitty trash vehicle that you guys do not care about. But um, once you guys got that set up, you're going to be hopping in the Panto or Elegy or whatever vehicle you guys are using and driving it outside. And once you've done that, you're going to be driving your vehicle over to your other garage. Now also, keep in mind guys, these garages must not be linked to any apartments, but pretty much once you take your vehicle over to your second garage, you're going to be whipping out a grenade or like some kind of explosive like that, and pretty much all you guys got to do is throw the grenade at the garage wall, and once you've done that, you're going to be driving your vehicle full fucking speed to the door and you're gonna wait for the vehicle to actually blow up now as you guys can see you gotta wait for this little garage full screen so also make sure your second garage is full and once your vehicle gets the shit kicked out of it you're gonna wait until you guys actually go ahead and respawn and then once you respawn you're gonna pull up your phone call morse mutual insurance and you're gonna be requesting to fix the panto that you guys have just broke now once you guys have actually repaired the vehicle you're gonna be getting a vehicle on the street and driving it back down to the original garage that your panto was just in. You're just going to be driving that vehicle straight inside of your garage. Now, if you guys pay close attention, the game did actually kick me out of the vehicle. However, if you guys are actually on consoles, it is going to be a bit different. The vehicle is going to stay there, although once you guys get to the garage rearranger, it is going to say the panto. But I mean, it's the same process. All you guys got to do is swap the panto out with any other vehicle. And by the way, if you guys are on consoles, you should not be able to see the vehicle. But pretty much, once you are then able to see the vehicle, you're going to be heading outside of your garage. And once you all get out here, you're going to be whipping out your phone, going to a random job list, and go to like a random job from Simeon or somebody like that. But once the lobby screen goes ahead and pops up, all you got to do is back out of that bitch, and it's going to be putting you guys back into your session. Now, you should notice on the side of the road, there is going to be your vehicle. So all you got to do is hop in that, and you're going to be driving it down to the nearest Los Santos cut. Customs. And then once you have all took the vehicle down here, it's really simple, but all you gotta do is purchase any upgrade for the vehicle, and I do recommend getting the license plate because that is the cheapest option. But um, once you guys have bought that, you're gonna be backing out of Los Santos Customs and heading on back to the original garage that you guys did get the Panto in from the beginning. And as you all can see, once I take my Panto inside, it's gonna be duplicated, damn it. So you guys have successfully made a copy of the vehicle without paying anything. So all you gotta do at this point is hop inside this copy of the Panto, take it down to Los Santos Customs, and then you guys can go to the sell option, sell the vehicle, and make a profit. And of course, you guys are gonna have another copy sitting in your garage, waiting to be duplicated again and again and again, and sold for a ton of money, as you all see. My Panto sold for about $200,000, which made me rich as hell, and I recommend you try it out. But with that being said, that's pretty much it for the solo money glitch for GTA 5 Online. For all consoles, including PC. Now, if you went on to enjoy today's video, then please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe if you are new around here as I do upload some of the latest and the greatest GTA 5 online daily content. But with that being said, I am Rambo and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace.